All right, guys, so we talk about a lot of the same models all the time in the Megabass rod line. So today, Jeff and I thought this would be kind of a fun episode to talk about three bait casting rods that maybe you didn't know of. Rods that kind of go under the radar, that don't get spoken about a lot, but that are super dope. So if you wanna check out some models that aren't spoken about that often, let's go. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just wanna elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. All right, welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with Hookup Tackle, aka the Tackle Otaku on Instagram. Once again, being joined by my buddy Jeffrey the King. All right, Jeff, more Mega Bass rods. I love it. All right, so you know we talk about a lot of the same models yes, we in do. here all the time, yes, right? We do. The Windbuster, Windbuster Mad, Mad Bull, Bull. <laughs> right? On and on and on, right? So it's fun when you discover like some little niche nuance rods, right? Yeah. And the rods that we tend to talk about a lot tend to be like super versatile rods, right? Rods that can just do a ton of things, so you know naturally you gravitate towards them and you use them. But you know, Mega Bass makes hundreds of different models across all their lines of rods, right? And there are some really sweet little niche rods that don't get spoken about a lot because they're they're going to appeal to a very small crowd, right? But maybe this is <laughs> maybe you are the crowd, yeah. right? So if nothing else, it's fun to kind of see what's out there and what's around, and maybe something that we talk about today will inspire you to to pick it up or you know to come in and and give it a shot. So here we go. We are going to break down what I consider to be the top three most underrated rods in all of the Mega Bass line in bait casting. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Let's see what you got. We're gonna start right here. Now, this is a rod. This is painful for me to talk about. Oh no! But this is a rod that Griff taught me about. Actually, I know. It, it <laughs> pains me. Ugh. But Griff loves this rod. I thought at first when we started bringing these in that he was ridiculous. But after using them and after you know having customers use them and get feedback. <laughs> it's become a favorite amongst a lot of guys. So here you go. This is the F463X Eliminator. Now, this rod is in the Destroyer Carbon Head series of rods. It's in that line. Now, this is essentially a smaller, shorter 110 stick. Hmm. So, you know, I talk about the 110 stick all the time. Right? I love the Mega Bass jerkbait rods. It specs out exactly the same. It's an F4. Lure rating is a quarter to three quarter ounce, right? Only it's six foot three and weighs like zero ounces. Here, feel that thing. Yeah, that's I insane. mean, it's silly, right? So where this rod would be effective is if you guys are fishing really small water or real short casts, ponds, shore, anything, kayak, right? Anything where having a shorter rod that still is going to give you the performance is important, this rod might fit right in. And it's beautiful. And it's one of the few rods in the line that's a combination of EVA foam and cork. So it's beautiful, right? It has the same taper pretty much as a 110 stick does. So it's got that nice kind of fast tip to it, but then it still kind of has a little bit of that bend through that midsection to absorb. I don't know how they did it, but they basically made a 6.3 version of the 110 stick. So if you guys are looking for just a small, crisp, light, 
really fun, small jerk bait, a small crank bait, little walking topwater, like dude, a little like Rico or oh Pop X God. on this It'd thing. Be so fun. It would be so sick, right? So just a really fun rod to use. There you go. There is number one in my book, the Eliminator in the Destroyer Carbon Head line. All right, number two. And I know there's two rods, but I'm gonna talk why. This is the Super Destroyer. Now, I know what you're thinking, Jeff. You're like, Super Destroyer, we hear that all the time. All the but time. this is a rod that I think is not fully understood by the majority of Mega Bass rod fans, okay? So, the reason I have two is because the Super Destroyer is a rod that has been around for a very long time in the Mega Bass line. So this is a Destroyer uh, Japan carbon head, and this is the new P5, okay? And we're gonna talk through the differences. Now, to spec, they are both F669. They're both 3 8 to one and a quarter ounce. They're both 12 to 25 pound line. So they spec out exactly the same. They're both Super Destroyers, just in two different lines, okay? Now, let's start here. This is the traditional Super Destroyer that Mega Bass has always made. Now, the, the point of the Super Destroyer was to always give you a super versatile, all around, fast action, hard hitting jig and worm rod, right? So it's 6'9", it's an F6, which would be kind of like a medium heavy plus, right? It's very fast. Right, so you got just a little bit of tip up here. I mean, you can see very, very little, right? Maybe only about 10, 12 inches. So it's just enough tip to give you a slight amount of load for skipping docks, for pitching bushes, for you know, close range, high accuracy, very sensitive, hard hitting, fast moving, you know, shallow water paced bottom contact fishing. And that's where this Super Destroyer has always been kind of like a, a main player. Now, when they developed it in the P5, what happens is the P5 graphite is a 5D graphite, so it's a cross weave graphite. So when they do that, it kind of takes away a little bit of that fastness, right? And so that fast, crisp, you know, sharp feel of the carbon head, you still get that kind of same tip Right? I mean, you'll notice it's about that same kind of 10, 12 inch tip, but when you really push into this rod, it bends deep through the blank. So now what Mega Bass has done is they've created a rod that can do all those jig and worm things, the pitching, the skipping, all that kind of stuff, but they've also now given you a little extra cushion in there for throwing reaction stuff. If you guys want to throw a spinner bait, if you want to throw, you know, a buzz bait, if you want to throw even a, a larger square bill or a wake bait, it has the ability now to bend through that midsection. This is really kind of turned into, in my opinion, probably the best all around close contact rod that I've, I've ever seen. So if you guys are, you know, skipping docks, skipping bushes, you know, anything that's close and accurate, and it, you need to throw anything from a worm to a jig, to a buzz bait, to a chatterbait, right? It can do all of those things. And because of that, it, it's on my radar as one of the most underrated rods because it's no longer pigeonholed as just a jig and worm. If all you guys need to do is throw a jig and worm and just bottom contact, get the carbon head version. It's so fast and so crisp. But if you need a rod that can do that plus some of the reaction stuff, the P5 version is unbelievable and amazing and you guys are gonna love it. All right, Jeff, number three. This is a rod that I almost never hear anybody speak about, and it's definitely a sleeper. And it's a sleeper because of the length. But because of the length, I think it's an important rod to talk about. Mm. So this rod may not be a rod that, you know, a, a tournament bass fisherman is gonna flock to, but a guy in a kayak, mm. a guy from the shore, this is a rod to pay attention to, okay? This is the Valkyrie 7-1 Heavy, okay? Now, 
We're big fans of Valkyrie here. We talk about them all the time. So the Valkyrie A are beautiful. B, all of the Valkyrie line, <clears throat> they're combinations of glass and carbon. And each model is going to be either more glass or more carbon based on what they want the rod to do. So for instance, like the 7.1 medium heavy that I love for my crank baits and my chatter baits, right? That's mostly glass, right? This guy is mostly carbon with just enough glass to give it softness where you need it, but it's got so much power and so much strength. So let me spec it out. It's 7.1, 3 8 to two ounce, okay? And they've designed the rod, like if you look at the <clears throat> little placard, which, you know, I always like to know what they designed the rod for, but then I'll make up my own decision, right? But the idea behind this was to build a short rod that can be powerful enough to throw a frog, to throw a little A-rig, to throw a light swim bait, to flip, right? And this is that rod. So first off, all the Valkyries have an adjustable grip. Okay, this is important to know because based on the reel that you put on here and the bait that you put on, the rod may be more tip heavy or more butt heavy. And it just depends on personal preference and how you like to hold your rod. You can adjust this to kind of help balance it to where you put your grip. You can also adjust it if you're gonna throw something like an A-Rig, for instance, you're gonna probably want a little longer grip so you can bomb a cast. If you're gonna throw something like a frog, for instance, maybe you're fishing from a kayak or you're sitting down, maybe you wanna shorten it up so you can make shorter little roll casts and not have such a long butt section to have to maneuver around a life jacket in your arm and your chest and all that kind of stuff, right? The other thing to note on this rod is it's one of the few rods in the Mega Bass line that has down wrap guides or spiral wrap or acid wrap, depending on how you talk about it. So the guides are going to spiral down underneath. This is a very common thing that you will see in like custom rod builders, but not that common in more like mass produced rods. The reason for that on this rod is this rod was designed to be a powerful rod for guys, really specifically shore and kayak guys, right? So they wanted to down wrap these guides so it eliminated any of that line wrap at the tip. So if you're you know, in a position that's not optimal, right? Like standing from the deck of a boat where it's easy to clear your line, right? You're having to, to fish around bushes or you're sitting down so your, your leverage point is less the line's gonna be able to go through, clear the guides, you're not gonna to have to worry about braid wrap at the tip or anything like that. The action and the taper of this rod, it's got a soft enough tip there. You can see it kind of goes down through that first kind of like 18 inches to where if you're gonna throw a frog, it's got that nice little movement to walk. It also has a soft enough tip to where if you're gonna use this rod as a pitch and stick, right? And you wanna be really accurate. You can very accurately pitch something into the bushes, pick stuff apart, but then it's got lots of power down here at the end to handle some of those heavier baits, a mag draft freestyle, a little A-rig, anything like that uh, that you might wanna push against it. So if you guys have been looking for a very powerful rod, but you don't necessarily need or can't really use a 7.6 or a 7.8 or a 7.10 rod, but you still need something powerful to be able to throw that one to two ounce stuff, this could be an awesome, awesome option for you. So that's the Valkyrie 71 Heavy. I didn't even know that was a rod. It's cool. I didn't even know. Yeah. Every time you said 71, I'm like medium heavy. Medium right. Medium heavy. Right, because that's what we talk about. 71 yeah. medium heavy, 71 medium heavy. And it's forgotten about. That's insane. Yeah, because most guys from a boat, dude, you want an A-rig rod, you want like an eight foot rod. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you want a, you know, flip and stick or a punch and rod. You want a seven and, seven and, and a half to eight foot rod, yeah. right? So, you know, to create a rod like that at a 7.1, it's kind of an oddball rod. It doesn't really make sense in the traditional world, but the traditional bass world is kind of like- All spread now. It's, yeah, it's everywhere. Yep. So it's no longer just boat guys. There's so many different varieties of, of how we're approaching fishing. It's cool to have some of these niche rods. Yeah. So guys, there is the breakdown of my three under the radar bait casting rods that you should pay attention to in the Mega Bass line. If you guys have any questions, certainly drop them down below in the comments. I will get to them. Jeff will leave links to the rods if you guys wanna check them out closer. And until next time, guys, thank you for the time. Thank you for the business. Peace, see you soon.